Hello everyone, welcome to Universe. I'm Pranvi Gani of IPM03 batch at IIM Rohtak. So, in today's video, we'll discuss on how to prepare quantitative aptitude for IPMAT. So, let's begin by dividing the quantitative syllabus into six categories. First, arithmetic. There you have questions on percentages, profit and loss, uh, SICI, time speed distance, time and work, etc. Second, you have algebra where you will find questions on linear or quadratic equations, functions, set theory, logs, and etc. Then you have number system where you have to deal with a reminder or factor theorem, finding the last two digits, or uh, HCF, LCM, and divisibility rules, and etc. Then you have geometry where you have to deal with circles, triangles, polygons, mensuration and also coordinate geometry. Then you have uh, higher maths where you have to deal with chapters of probability, PNC, uh, matrices and determinants and etc. Then you have questions on data interpretation which is a set of 5 to 6 questions based on a pie chart or a line graph or a bar graph. Moving on to preparation strategy. We will divide your preparation strategy into three stages. For foundation, application and time testing. First, the foundation phase. Here, go through the theory of each and every chapter and build a strong understanding of each concept. For this, you need to practice at least 50 to 100 questions of each concept of different difficulty levels. Second, application phase. Take an example where you are asked to find the last two digits of a sum of a progression. Here, they are testing you on two different topics in the same question. They are testing you on your progressions and also number system. Such type of questions, as we call, are mixed application based questions and IPMAT is known to ask such type of questions and there is only one way to ace this type of question, practice. So practice as many questions as you can of this type. Third, the time testing phase. Here, you need to track your time while solving each and every question. Because as you know, IPMAT is a time bound exam. There will be a lot of questions in your paper where you'll, if you give enough time, you'll be able to solve them. But the challenge is you need to solve them right there in the given stipulated time. So by doing this, you will be comfortable in answering the questions on the exam day without any pressure. All these efforts you put in to learn the concept will be wasted if you don't retain them. So revision is as important as you learn the new concept. Here, I would like to suggest you to write your own formula book. You have to update each and every formula or a trick you come across every day and keep revising them every single day. Follow the steps and keep practicing and you'll definitely ace quads. Hope you have learned something from this video and all the best and thank you for watching this video and also like, share and subscribe to your new age.